This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. I love being here helping you with playing the guitar. In this quick answer episode, I'm going over the F sus2 chord. So I'll start out with a little theory, then I'll talk about how we can actually play F sus2 on the guitar. So if you just want those voicings, take a look at the right side of the board or skip ahead to that part of the video. But I'm going to explain the chord just a little bit here. So F sus2, the chord symbol. We have the letter F and then sus, S-U-S, short for suspended, and then the number two. If there's a different number or there's no number after sus, it's a different type of chord. It's probably a suspended four chord, but this is F sus two. We need that number two. This has the pitches F, G, and C. F, G, and C. These come right out of the F major scale. So F is step one of that scale. G is step two, and C is step five. The F is also known as the root. It's the foundational pitch. It's the pitch that the chord is named for. It's the starting pitch of the scale, so it's the root. The G is a major second interval above that, and the C is a perfect fifth interval above that. Now an F major chord would have a major third, and an F minor chord would have a minor third. So we have replaced the third with the major second, and that's what creates the suspended two sound, or the sus two chord. Of course, we can spread these out and double them to create different voicings. Let's take a look at the voicings. So great ways to play this on the guitar. We won't play the bottom two strings here in first position. Ring finger goes at the third fret of the fourth string. We have an open third string, and then our index plays at the first fret on strings two and one. So we get a nice F sus two chord there. It says the root, the two, the root, uh, the five, and then the root. Root, two, five, root. Now, alternatively, we could play some bar chords. The best bar chord option is over here on the right. It's at the eighth fret of the fifth string. We have an F note. So we're barring across the top five strings there at the eighth fret. And then our ring finger on the fourth string goes two frets higher than the bar, and our pinky goes two frets higher than the bar on the third string, and we get F sus2. This one has root, five, root, two, five. That's how that's voiced. Great way to play that there. We also have an option that could be played at the first fret, because we have an F, or up at the 13th. It's got some big stretches in between each of the spots where we have fingers. There is a fret that's open. So... I can only physically play this one on most guitars, uh, maybe all guitars, clear up at the 13th fret. So I'm going to look at it there because I presume that most of us are going to be in that boat unless you have longer fingers than I do. But the the we have the F note at the 13th fret, so we can bar across all six. Two frets higher on the fifth string, we put our middle finger, and then four frets higher than the bar, our ring and pinky go on the fourth and third strings, and then the rest are barred. Oops, I played E. Gotta go. Gotta go higher. There's the F sus2 up there. This one goes root 5, 2, 5, 5, root. That's how that's voiced. Okay, hope that helps. Hope you're having fun with the guitar. Take care. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.